Nice. That guy's back there, bro. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's pushed up. He's pushed up on our side. Dude, is he gonna go up my steps? Where is he? Yeah, he oh, I got him. Let's get it, baby. We good. <clears throat> oh, wait. Did I not add the comm? Oh, yeah, I gotta add the comm. Yeah, one sec, Troy. I gotta move. I gotta move. Wait, add comm. We group. There we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. You should count. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone. That would have been funny. <laughs> Ready, set, go. I'm Rob. And I'm Ron. And this is... <laughs> Ready, set, go. I'm Rob. And I'm Ron. And this is Recap, your source for unbiased, unfiltered esports news. And we hope you guys enjoyed that clip at the start. It was attached getting a haircut during a GB match. And it wasn't just any GB match. It was a Call of Duty GB match because the new COD dropped. Yep. Which we are in love. You know what? Let's let's just throw our record up there real quick. 8-0. <laughs> You're running the GB ladders. I mean, not Slaying really. it. But, uh, yeah, we're having a good time on... Hopefully uh, it's not just because we're on Xbox. Yeah, I mean... I'd like to think not. We we beat a 7-0 <laughs> team yesterday, if that means anything. Made them, made them disband. Nothing feels better than that, <laughs> honestly. They're, they're restarting. But anyway, COD dropped the new one, uh, World War II, Boots on the Ground. Back to the basics. Back to fundamentals. Yep. Back to what, what made COD COD. Yep. And we're in love. Uh, we're trying to record this video, honestly, as fast as we possibly can, just so we can go home and play in a tournament tonight. <laughs> so hopefully That's this... the dedication. Hopefully this video turns out good, but... On a different note, don't want to give Call of Duty too much credit because they did fuck up pretty bad with launch. Yeah, it was awful. Uh, especially one for Xbox. The, one of the worst launches, probably. Yeah. And they cleaned it up pretty quick for PS4, yeah. but just because of the competitive scenes on PS4, but they just really don't care about Xbox anymore, which <laughs> I sucks. I genuinely don't think they care at all. <laughs> like, I honestly, it was so strange. If you guys didn't hear, Xbox servers on launch day for midnight release were down for like... 18 hours and there's still bugs like it's still yeah, not it's still all the way it's not it's still sure. 100% and you could get into games but after the game you'd literally like get kicked to the main menu and then you'd have to like sit there for 10 minutes yep. trying to join the game again so kept getting error code dash it's dash terrible. dash 438 or some shit yeah. I don't know it, it was awful it was literally torture because people literally take off work people skip school to play yep, on launch play. day and it was screwing them <laughs> so hard but it was funny seeing Twitter. Twitter was blowing up. Pros were getting pissed. It was affecting, like, scrimmages. Even celebrities like Post Malone were tweeting, like, super funny shit. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, it was fun. But... On the better side of things, yeah. so, uh, from the game release, uh, Activision did a thing called The Race, which they've done with other Call of Duties in the past. Mm -hmm. And, basically, it's just a all-day stream, or, like, multiple-day stream where they never stop playing, and they try and raise money. And they raised two hundred or one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, and then Activision matched that, so they raised two hundred fifty thousand for veterans. Of the race and everybody who was watching, we wanted to thank you guys so much for donating and helping us hit our goal and destroy it. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars were raised, matched by Activision. That's a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, that's Which pretty cool. Pretty awesome. It's gonna help veterans find jobs. Uh, their goal uh, for 2018 was twenty-five thousand jobs for veterans, but they've already. Like hit that, they're kind of killing the game right now. So they re-raised the goal to fifty thousand for twenty nineteen to find some veterans some quality jobs, which is cool. Yep, it's nice seeing uh, a gaming company do something that actually helps people. Yeah, I mean, in the end of the day, games are just uh, and for fun. I think Veterans Day is actually a Saturday. I think it's coming up, so I think it's that's kind of oh, why, why they, they do it. it. Yeah, and I think they I think they do Veterans every year, which kind of cool. I'm actually going to a like a five k to shoot some pictures of. A veteran race kind of thing they're raising money but nice yeah anyway moving on story number two uh south korea literally dominated last weekend like such a dominating performance just crushing all the competition yeah they're taking over every esport yeah which i mean they've <laughs> everyone knows korea is like the shit when it comes to esports but these are world championships these aren't just like minor tournaments they won league of legends world championship that was samsung galaxy they beat SKT, literally Faker in tears. Didn't just beat them, three Odom. Three Odom. Oh my <laughs> God! No, I know. Ugh. But um, yeah. And then moving on, the for Starcraft Worlds, 
It was Rogue versus SOO, or his name's like Sue or something. But uh, he, Rogue, he won 4 2 in StarCraft. Another kind of dominating performance. And Rogue's been having a good year. He won IEM and GSL also. So kind of killing it. Hero of the Storm Worlds, MVP Black beat Fnatic 3 1. Like, you can count South Korea's losses on your hand Yeah. for all these games. I can understand the first three games, how they're good at them, because I yeah. feel like Korea is always good at, like, the more strategic kind of uh, brainiacs. mouse games, yeah. But Overwatch, mm. I can't believe they're that good at Overwatch. At shooters? I thought, like, Europeans or American teams had the shooters, but... Yeah, no, I agree. Korea's stepping up. Yeah, so for Overwatch, they won 4-1. It was MVP... Or no, sorry, it was South Korea versus Canada in like the World Championship, World Cup. So yeah, South Korea won 4 1, and the South Korea won that last year too, so nice. pretty interesting. Uh, moving on, uh, the EG team for Halo actually disbanded, yep. and Roy retired, and he was one of the twins, Roy and Lunchbox. Yep. And that's pretty big news because Roy and Lunchbox were like killing it in the Halo scene and, for years. They, yeah. They've been like a dynamic duo. Um, Killing it on multiple teams, they've they've been kind of all over the place, but they've always been a staple in Halo for being one of the best duos. Yeah, and they're not only good, but they've uh, basically like taken the game to new places and helped create uh, modern pros. They've helped uh, train them basically. Yeah, they've kind of set a set a standard of like how to act and be professional. Like they actually have like professionalism. Mm -hmm. You you always see clips of like people raging and people like talking trash on land, which I'm sure they do, but like they keep it at a professional level and they. It's good to see like a, a good representation of how to act when you're at an event. But Towley, their coach, actually made a like video of like all these professional players in the Halo scene kind of talking about Roy and Lunchbox and giving their opinion on them and just nothing but positive. Yeah, it was pretty pretty moving. Yeah, it was really it was actually emotional. You literally saw in the bottom right corner Roy kind of in tears. We can kind of throw it up there for you. But so many pros just kind of giving little stories and insights of just how inspirational Roy and Lunchbox have been like throughout the scene. This dude always tells me about moving videos and I'm like uh, I don't know it's just about games but it actually was like kind of sad yeah it, it's, you could tell everyone loved them or him yeah but yeah so EG's out of the Halo scene Roy's retiring I think Lunchbox and his other two teammates on EG are still like free agents now they're looking for a, a team but yeah it's sad to see Roy go, Roy go he's always just been a staple in Halo so you were saying earlier maybe he'll get into streaming or kind of get into a different yeah, game it, it wouldn't surprise plan. me yeah uh, our next story, Dallas owner Jerry Jones. Uh, he's He bought Complexity Gaming. Another huge investment. Yeah. It's it's, so weird. It seems like, like there's the one every week, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's literally like uh, from when we started making this show, basically. Oh, yeah. This is episode six. I mean. Yeah. We've almost had one like every and week. And we don't even cover all of them every week. There's yeah. probably, like, because I just told you New York Yankees got a team, and we didn't even touch on that. But, yep. yep. Yeah. So you got Complexity getting bought by Dallas Cowboys. It, it's crazy. Uh, Complexity founded in twenty or two thousand and three, had like they really haven't had a ton of success in esports, and they've kind of been like a dying breed. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really hope to see them venture back into COD because they're like they're like the favorite team I had for them was their Black Ops two team with Aches, TP, Crim Six, and Karma. They were the God Squad on Black Ops two. They were dominating the scene. They like dethroned Frico Impact, and they were just the top dogs at the time. But then that's when like the huge trade with like Optic Gaming went down with Complexity, <laughs> and they kind of stole Crim Six and Karma, and that's why like that's why Aix just has that bad blood with Optic, honestly. Just because money got involved. No, I know. Which <laughs> joining Optic uh, with Crim Six and Karma, that's the best decision they've ever made. But who knows? Like because when Complexity was at their prime, if that God Squad stuck together, who knows where they would have gone? Like, yeah. Maybe they'd be better than Optic is today. Yeah, I could see it. But, yeah, we'll see. I don't know what team they're getting. He just bought the org, and uh, we'll have to see what games they get. We'll, get. we'll keep you guys posted on the story. Yep. Um, last story, Overwatch, uh, all 12 teams have been announced. Finally. So, just to run those down, you got Boston Uprising, Boston, Massachusetts, obviously, Florida Mayhem, uh, Houston Outlaws, which is the Optic team, Yep. London Spitfire, which is Cloud9, I believe. C9, yep. Um, New York Excelsior, 
Philadelphia Fusion, Dallas Fuel, which is Envy, mm -hmm. Los Angeles Gladiators, Los Angeles Valiant, uh, which is uh, Immortals. Immortals. Yeah. Why was I blinking on their name know. so hard? Uh, San Francisco Shock. Are they someone? Why do I? There's somebody. Philadelphia say Fusion, someone. the one you said before, that's Comcast, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Oh. Yeah. Mm, Which wow. I, I thought they were gonna be like Team Comcast, like it, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm glad they did like Philadelphia Fusion. Still pretty different. shitty. Yeah. I hate their symbol. But yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of cheesy, honestly. Okay. Um, Seoul Dynasty and then Shanghai, Shanghai Dragons. Dragons. So and uh, BlizzCon was this weekend. They announced some stuff about their games, but yep. they also announced or showed all the uniforms for these teams, and you can actually buy like the home or away uniform and then the hat to go with it. So if you want to support your city. Yeah, kind of cool. Out. Getting some cool apparel. Yep. Um, what's your favorite team logo? I think I have to go with Houston Outlaws. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. However, they, my favorite team colors are London Spitfire. London Spitfire. I like the light yeah, that blue and that like the uh, kind of orange off, accent. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'd have to say either the Valiant or Boston Uprising, like I kind of touched on last episode, because I can see it as like a logo on a hat. Val oh, which, yeah, I do like the Valiant. Yeah, Valiant's pretty dope. I wish Dallas Fuel would make that flame just look a little bit more like an F, because they literally oh. could. It's like almost there. It is, yeah. That's a good and idea. Maybe that's I don't know what why they, they meant didn't. to do, but yeah. I don't know. It's so close. But anyway, they, I think they have matches starting sometime soon. I, they'll have like scrimmages or something at some point. So yep. we'll keep you guys updated with what's going on with Overwatch. But honestly, I think that's all we have for you guys this weekend. We're 100% going to get back to playing some COD. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are probably already clicked off our video and are playing COD, honestly. But, <laughs> but uh, we'll leave you guys with our clip of the week. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you next Monday. Adios. So. Now I can scream that we made it. We made it. Now everywhere, everywhere I go, they say congratulations. Oh. Young nigga, young nigga, graduation. Yeah. I pick up the